Giving HIV positive test results can generate great anxiety for medical professionals. Where the medical community has had some reservations that there's still a lot of old notions out there is like, well, what do I do with this patient when I tell them they're positive? There are several options for giving positive results. Clinicians can give results. Doctors and nurses are trained to give a difficult diagnosis and can make sure patients are referred into care. Giving an HIV positive result need not be any different than giving any other difficult news to a patient. So it's not different from telling a patient you have cancer, you have uh, leukemia, you know, it doesn't matter. It's still a medical condition that they should be more open to dealing with. We talk to the patient and basically get them all the, you know, explain to them what the, what the test means um, and what, the, what this diagnosis is at this point and how they need to follow up with different services so that they can get them um, the care that they need. People that are diagnosed with uh, HIV, there's a lot of counseling that goes along with that and they can be referred to supportive services, they can be screened for other opportunistic infections and other conditions that go along with active HIV infection and uh, they can be referred early for treatment and, and I think all those things are good things. In some facilities, specially trained caseworkers or linkage to care workers are on staff to give results and link patients to care. Well, talking to a patient, it's basically you have to put it as simple as possible to them to help them understand what it means to have HIV. Some facilities find that what works best for them is to link with local health departments where there are specially trained personnel who can deliver results and see that patients are directed towards the care they need. The, the results are going to be delivered by the county health department and there's, there's a, a process for doing that. So they would deliver the results and they would also put them in touch with, with various places where that can provide treatment for them so that they'll help close the loop. Physicians can use the mnemonic ABCDE as a reminder about how to give hope to patients receiving bad news. So we have several agencies that we work with and when we give a person results, we talk to them about which agency they want to go to. And most of the time, if we can, what we do is we call the agency as the person is sitting in front of us and then have them talk to the agency to make an appointment to go immediately into care. If that doesn't happen, we're very diligent about following up with the clients to, to get them into care since that's such a crucial aspect of not only their health, but preventing the spread of HIV. Advanced preparation includes having a private space to ensure confidentiality and having follow-up care referral information in hand. In setting up the system of care back in the late 80s really is when it started and into the 90s uh, when the Ron White Care Act was enacted, this set up an entire system of care that did not exist and really doesn't exist for any other disease. And it's it's very comprehensive because it takes all the social and medical needs and blends it into one complete package and complete with social workers who help people navigate the system and apply for social security and disability and all those various things that are very difficult to maneuver. Um, there are a lot of resources out there and a lot of them funded by the Ryan White Care Act. Giving positive results I think is just a matter of treating people as we would want to be treated if we were given the, that kind of news. My goal is always to try to get them to go into care. So that's our goal, to help them out, to help them understand what it means to have HIV. You know, now I let them know it's not like 10, 15 years ago when people told you you're HIV positive. The chances of living a long, healthy life are much better now. You have everything from people who immediately close uh, out to you that don't want to talk anymore. You have people who start crying, people who just go into immediate denial, or people who say, okay, so what I have to do. The patient starts to cry. I usually let them cry, calm down for a little bit, and, you know, I stand quietly, and I just offer support. And, you know, I'm like, are you okay? Do you need some time? You know, and 
If they calm down, then I tell them, you know, it's not, I'm not telling you you're gonna die. I'm not even saying you have AIDS to stress to them. Don't to stress out, don't think about, I have HIV, I'm gonna die. Because the worst thing that a person with HIV can do is add stress to their life. You know, it's already a stressful situation and keep adding stress to that and just makes it worse for them. We let them know, you know, what HIV is, what they have to do. And then we let them know they're not alone. They're not, uh, we're not just saying you have HIV, go on your own and see what you can do with it, you know. We tell them we're here to help you. That's our main job. Our main job is to see that not only did we give them an HIV po uh, positive test result, but we also told them these are all the options that you have. A key part of our program has been connecting those people to care. That, In fact, that's where most of our resources go, is to have someone give them their results who really knows what they're doing and hold their hand until they get into care. 